about seven months since my last video. Not mean to take such a long break from YouTube. I really enjoyed making these videos and I am very much so planning on getting back into it. I figured as a little return to YouTube, I would do a home gym tour because over the course of those seven months, a lot of things have changed in the house and on the property and all that stuff. But in my opinion, the most exciting one is definitely the home gym. Figured I would show you guys. Maybe I will be filming a full leg day as well because I'm working some pre-workout right now. And so by the time I'm done giving you guys a tour, I'll probably be ready to go. Ever since I started lifting about eight years ago, a home gym has been an absolute dream of mine. Over the course of the past five to six years, John and I have been accumulating equipment when we can, starting with a squat rack, bench, and bumper plates. I pretty much completely stopped going to an actual gym in the beginning of 2020, and later that year was when we started adding more equipment than just what I considered to be the bare essentials. We moved to South Carolina about a year ago, and originally we planned on building a structure specifically for a gym, but that would have realistically been a few years down the line, so John had the idea of transforming this little horse barn into a gym, and wow, this project was so much fun. We removed some walls, reinforced others, we layered gravel and concrete for the very first time. Just recently, this past week, put in concrete, we did a pretty beginner job, but we're gonna have gym mats over it, so it doesn't really matter that much. It's I really wish that I would have done a better job of documenting this process, but I am not kidding when I say that this gym is a freaking dream come true for me. So now for the tour. When you first walk into the gym, you'll see our freestanding rogue squat rack. I love having a freestanding rack. I feel like it's really convenient for a home gym specifically because having the option to easily move it is really nice when you don't have a crazy amount of space to work with. Next up, our Inspire cable machine. To be honest, I don't use cables a crazy amount, but we have never had any real issue with this machine. We've had it for about two years and it's been pretty reliable thus far. A few sandbags and a rogue weight tree. I will say the weight tree is really hard to move when it's loaded, but I feel like that's just kind of the nature of having a heavy thing. Our dumbbell rack is rogue as well, and not gonna lie, the lighting is pretty nice in this corner. I have my trophies up, and oh, I did a half marathon a few months ago, willy-nilly. I could not walk for a week. We also have two benches, both of them rogue. One is a competition bench, and then the other one is an incline bench. One of my favorite pieces that we have is this Exmark Pull-Up Rig. I get questions about this all the time. It has a bunch of different hand placements and it is a sturdy girl. Then we also have Strongman Implements, Log, Axle, Farmers Carries. I have a yoke and a sled as well, but they're both disassembled right now. Well, that pretty much concludes the home gym tour. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, you know what to do, like, subscribe, all the things. I appreciate you guys watching and I will be getting back into creating consistent videos for you guys because I really do. I love it. I love it. It's so fun and I just got to do it. So I hope you have a beautiful day. I'll talk to you guys later.